back again to hear another story of immense fortune and unthinkable peril. Well, I have some time. The borderlands of Pandora were told to contain mysterious alien treasure troves filled with advanced technology and incredible power. Vaults, the people called them. And to seek one out was to earn you the title of Vault Hunter. At least by me. You could say Handsome Jack was one such explorer, though his methods could be seen as uh, somewhat unsporting. He ran the corporation Hyperia and died trying to claim Pandora as his own. History's attention is fickle, my friends. It will remember those pirates like Handsome Jack, but forget the adventurers who risk it all for less. Ah, obvious rewards. Stories, legends, those are much better at getting at the real spirit of things. Stories remember both sides of the tale. Some sort of radiation leak, I don't know about it. So, who are you? Okay, then, do you mind asking yourself who you are? Oh! <laughs> Ow, what the hell? Tell me about the Gordas Project. <laughs> is that what this is about? <laughs> Look, Gordas is bad business. If you want a real hot investment, I am on the ground floor of some property on E. Okay, 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 okay. Don't be a smartass. I'm not a patient person, so just start talking. Just where do you start when you're getting dragged through the desert and, uh... From the beginning. Right. I guess it all started with a promotion. See, I'd spent my entire career up at Hyperion, so I suppose that makes me one of the bad guys in this story. And Handsome Jack, he was the you baddest guy of them all. This long. It must feel good but to I find wanted to be rabbit, just you know? like him. Take it, it's yours, right? I mean, you always <laughs> said that. Everyone did. I gotta be honest, I always thought it was sort of cheesy, but, uh, but hey, here Which we are. Which resulted in a company Overflowing with assholes. Animals. When Handsome Jack died, it somehow got even worse. It took some time to fit in. But a few stabs and select backs, a new haircut, and the help of a couple friends. I was on my way to get the promotion that was going to change my life. Scratch that. Our lives. For the better. I was a little distracted. 
It was a big day for us. Luckily, Vaughn was concentrating on the important things. What's the first thing you're gonna buy? I know what Henderson's making. I do his payroll. If you're getting a fraction of what he earns, you'll be rolling in it. Being an exec in Hyperion comes with expectations. Yeah, I figure I could get lunch. Seems like a good place to start. Well, then we're starting with three of whatever's most expensive. Sure. And wine pairings. For lunch? We're gonna get twisted, bro. If I'm not puking up $500 in food and alcohol this afternoon, then we are doing it wrong. We're meeting with a vet afterward to celebrate. She booked us a table. Yep. Sounds good. Look, we had to do a lot of awful stuff to get you to this point. Do I regret some of it? Sure I do. Every night it haunts my dreams, but that doesn't matter now. Because you made it. You deserve this, man. And don't ever think you don't. And don't ever think about the Iridium Mine deal we put together. Hey, hey, we made it, okay? We're in this together. If I'm moving up, we're all moving up. You can be certain of that. I appreciate that, Reese. You know, people around here have short memories when it comes to that stuff. You, me, Yvette, we're gonna run this place. Yes, we are. All right, man, let's get that Hyperion face on. Oh, right, yeah. We need some condescending. It's a little too friendly right now. Okay, tell you what. Tilt your head back. Uh, like if you ask me if there's anything up your nose. How's that? There you go. You don't respect me at all. Perfect. Mr. Henderson? Have a seat, Reese. I'll just be a second. No, I wasn't talking to you. Yes, I'm talking to you now. Yeah, but I don't want it in red. I want it in black. Because black is better. Look, don't concern yourself with why, okay, Jerry? Concern yourself with how. And just send the car over when it's ready. Company car. Didn't even have to ask. You look surprised to see me, Reese. And if I'm reading the situation right, and I usually am, you're not too happy about it either. This all came together quick. So, you might not have been in the loop, but it's for the better. At least for me. So where's Henderson? He, uh, stepped out. You're going to be reporting to me now, Reese. And I want you to know the promotion that you worked so hard to get. That's still coming to you. Well, that's a relief. <laughs> Cause I... But this is about more than that, Reese about your future in this company. Look, you want to know the reason why I'm in that chair and you're not? For the exact same reason why North is North, why the handsome guy always gets the girl, and why every spaceship in the universe is shaped like a cock. It's destiny, race, And men, real men, men like me, make their own. And you can hold a grudge if you like. No harm, no foul, your thoughts are your own. But bad things can happen when you swim against fate. Sometimes men find themselves standing in the way of other men's destiny. You don't want to be that man. Wow, I could not have timed that better. That really helps dramatically make my point. Which is this, this promotion is going to take you out of the way of other people's destiny and put you on your own path. And that, my friend, is why I am promoting you to... Jerry, why isn't my new car digistructing in my office yet? Vasquez, it's August. Oh, August. Uh, yeah, cool, listen. Uh, I actually have somebody here with me, so... Uh... Are you buying this vault key or what? Because I... How did this happen so quick? I thought I'd have more time. Of course I'm still interested. I guess I'm near a computer. Ten million. Yeah. It's just that's a lot of money to get together on short notice. I mean, I'm not trying to be obstinate, but I need time. Uh. Yeah, 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 no, but...
Only be down it. If it's gonna be ten million dollars, I'm gonna need another hour or two. Okay, yeah, I'll be there in a bit. Well, then just stay there. It's a tourist shop, right? Buy a mug or something. Sure, sure, sure. Okay, say hi to your mom. Damn it! Ah, right. Now, uh, what were we talking about? Before we were so rudely interrupted. We were talking... <clears throat> we were talking about my promotion? All right, your uh, promotion. Anderson was a fool. He didn't know his place. He needed lesson number one. Humility. But you... I respect you, Reese. That's why I'm gonna make you assistant vice janitor. What? No, no, you, you, you can't. I'm the boss now, Reese. I do whatever I want. Report to Sewage Scout 23. Effective immediately. You can't humiliate me. I quit. Careful now, kid. The only way you quit, Hyperion. Is the way Henderson did. You're dismissed, Reese. I'll let you know when I need my trash can emptied. What the hell was that? He can't do this to us! He just did. No. No, no, this can't be happening. I'm finished, Will. I'm finished. You know this place is. There's blood in the water, and everyone can smell it! No, 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 they can't. Not yet, unless you don't quiet down. We just gotta keep it on the down low until we figure something out. It's not that bad yet. Senior Vice Janitor Reese to Sector D451. For trash cleanup, because that is your job now, to clean up trash with your bare hands. Sorry, you were saying something? I interrupted you. Reese, why are you cleaning up trash? I thought you were getting a promotion. Trash duty seems like the opposite of a promotion. Henderson's dead. What? Are you sure? Yeah. I mean, you can ask him yourself. He's floating outside in space! It's that prick Vasquez. <sighs> He threw Henderson out of an airlock and demoted Reese to Trash Man. Holy crap. So, does that mean you're not buying? Well, just trying to lighten the mood. And I didn't bring my wallet, so if someone pays for me... I'll tell you who's gonna pay. Vasquez. I don't know if he's the type we to... We can't let that prick get away with this. We need to do something. He just killed a guy. Maybe it's better we lay low for a bit. What? No way. We hit back. We're going to ruin his career. How do you plan on doing that? Yeah. Vasquez set up a deal on Pandora for a vault key. Whoa. A vault key? Uh-huh. And I'm sure he promised a die Hyperion. That must be why he got the promotion. The only thing Hyperion cares about more than money is, is vault keys. It's perfect! I mean... Not only do we screw over Asquez, we have a friggin' vault key! What are they worth? Like a billion dollars? More. Yeah, but we need ten million dollars right now to make the deal. Hold, please. Done. I'm not gonna lie. That was impressive. I'm in accounting. I mean, it's what I do. Ten million bucks is chump change around here. By the time anyone notices, we'll have a vault key. Cool! 
Well, looks like you boys got it all figured out. I'm gonna go eat. Alone? Call me if you don't get killed, Whoa, whoa, right? whoa, hey, hey, we need your help. We need clearance, transportation. You're a requisitions master. We need that stuff. Yeah, maybe a loader bot or two. You know, things get dicey. Look, it's one thing stealing from a bunch of poor suckers on Pandora. You're talking about stealing from Hyperion. But we're friends. Friends help each other steal stuff. I mean, that's how it works. Richter used to steal candy bars. His family still doesn't know where the body is. Come on, I'll buy you the lunch I owe you when we get back. Fine. But you're buying me lunch now, and when you get back. <laughs> Done. We only got a couple hours. <sighs> Go withdraw the cash. I'll get you guys clearance to Pandora, get you geared up, and issue you a standard Hyperion town car. What? Standard? Really? I mean, you can't spring for premium? Seat warmers, maybe a convertible or something? Sure, yeah, a convertible. So, just so I got this straight, you want me to get you a car to drive around Pandora that leaves you less protected, right? Look, it just... If you're gonna steal something, I uh, figure... No. No, don't worry. I've got a car in mind. Person. Or would you cross right there? Oh, crap. I think we... I think we killed it. Are we murderers now? We're, we're murderers. We're murderers. Great, great, we murder. Relax, Vaughn. It's a skag. They breed like hostile rabbits down here. Still, it's kind of sad. Yeah. Kind of. So, what do we say if someone asks where we got the money? What do you mean? Well, I mean, what do we tell people? We should have a story. I, mean, I would prefer not to tell them that we stole it from Hyperion. That would not go over well. Let's just say Vasquez gave it to us to make the deal. It's easier that way. Yeah... Uh, I guess I wanted a cooler plan, but... I suppose that'll work. So... This looks... not good. <laughs> Got ourselves a hero here! What are you looking at? It's Pandora. What did you expect? Yeah, no, I know. Uh, I, I guess I'm just now more acutely aware that I have ten million dollars paying to me is all. In a neighborhood, I might add, of back planet nut jobs. I'm just getting a vibe, you know? <laughs> what the hell are you afraid of, huh? 
It's just a town like any other with a little more dust. What am I afraid of? Oh, I don't know. Uh, old mining community stranded on a planet, getting prospector madness and eating us for one. Listen, one tap on the arm and Yvette can send down a loader bot if things get too entertaining. That's true. And she gave me this. It is a stun baton. I do not know how it works, but it's definitely neat. Yeah, stick. Neato. God, I can't wait to be in that chair. You and me, Yvette. I mean, we bring this key back, and they're gonna make us the once and future kings of that place for sure. They'll send in a crew to use the key, and then that's it. Then it's kick back on the moon beach time. Yeah, yeah, we'll pop champagne and everything after we get back with the key. Ah, come on, it's in the bag! The tracker's beep beep beeping, but I don't see the place. It's the world of curiosities, right? Yeah, do you see it? No. Could ask one of them. They seem... normal-ish? Normal-ish enough? Anyway? What an excellent idea. I thought so myself. <clears throat> Hi. Excuse me. Uh, sir, do you know where the uh, world of curiosities is? Uh, uh... It should be around here. You lost? Um... What are you here for? It's just a simple business deal. A few papers to sign, and then we're out. Easy. Huh. Those the papers? Of a sort? You're Hyperion. You wake suckers ruin this town, you know that? Atlas were bastards, but at least they had the good sense to fail. When Jack came in, he turned everything to smoke. Listen, all we want are directions to the world of curiosities. That's it, okay? We get that, and we're gone. Gone, huh? Hey, little man. What's in the case? Hey, kitty cat. Show us what's in the case. <laughs> okay, now, look. Before we get all bent... <laughs> oh. Is there, like, a convention or something? Oh. Bandits. You know what we got here? Reese, do the... We got a couple Hyperion warmongers, gentlemen. The bot! Yvette, prime it! Already? Really? Just... <laughs> Just give me the menu. Okay, but don't go bananas. These things ain't cheap. And do you know what we do with warmongers? Do you know what we do? Should we tell them what we do with Hyperion workers? Who is that? Loader bot deployed. Time to clock in. Listen, boys. You're gonna hand over that case. Or you're handing over your heads. Your choice. Look, guys, let's talk about this. Got quiet all of a sudden. Hi. Kill them all! Why isn't it doing anything? Angry eyes detected. Awaiting answer. 
destruction. Uh, it only does what I tell it to. Well, let's do something already. Will you stop shooting me? Engaging target. See? Piece of cake. so much. Thank you kindly. Wait, 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 wait! Wait! Uh, Motorbot! Go get the car! Stop! Thieves! Stand still and die. That's all I wanted to know. We could have avoided all of this. Ow! Get your ass gone! Okay, okay, okay. Loader bot, put the car down. Sure thing. Improvise. 
consequences. Paralyzed. Disproportionate response mode. Reese, just tell it to run. I will name my firstborn Loderbot. Yeah. You know, pr probably not, but... I... I can't believe we're alive. I mean, I... I never want to see somebody's brains come out of their nose. Not ever again! That... That was the single scariest experience of, of my entire life! Which should probably be over by now, but it's not. For some reason. But for those guys... A lot of those guys... It's over now. We made it. I mean, his brains. Just, just like, like snot. Yes, okay, that was awful. I agree, but we got through it, you know, and that probably shouldn't have happened. At least now we know we can handle ourselves. If, if what, if brains ooze out of people's noses? Well, yeah, basically. I guess you sort of have a point somewhere in there. All right, let's just find this guy August. By the key. Get the hell out of here. Ugh, does every animal on this planet have to look like a giant monster? You know, the stuffed animals was one thing, but this is taking a turn I really don't want it to. Right this way to the world-famous Hall of Pandoran Luminaries. Come face to face with icons of the planet's turbulent history and hear how each met their grisly fate. Please watch your step and marvel at some of the unexpected ends of life's grand design. There's nowhere else to go. Come on, let's just get through it. Uh... Boom, not to be confused with his brother Boom, was the first mate of Captain Flint. As his name subtly implies, Boom enjoyed hurling caustic explosives and making things blow up by any means necessary. Who around here doesn't? Pandoran resident and fine dining connoisseur, Shade, was held in high esteem by his fellow neighbors in Oasis. Not in the least bit insane, he will be missed. I am really not into this at all. Oh, I remember this guy, he was an asshole. Formerly a scientific researcher who worked for Hyperion, Professor Nakayama was obsessed with cloning Handsome Jack, who he carried a certain fondness for. Killed by stairs! 
No witty rejoinder? You must be more traumatized than I am. Hey, you still got his Hyperion ID chip. Really? Keep it! Hyperion pays out a nice bonus for recovering those things. Oops. The once ruthless leader of the Crimson Lance, Commandant Steel. Her leaderness came to an end when she was skewered by a monstrous tentacle. She later died a second time after having been resurrected as some kind of cyborg zombie thing. Can we just get on with this? Oh. It's locked. Oh, come on, are you serious? Well, this feels like we came in the back, so maybe there's a front door somewhere? Yeah, I don't know if we can get out there with the murderers all over the place. Maybe one of those bodies has a key or something and we just missed it. Well, I mean, if we just randomly found the key, I mean, that would be amazing. You two not just the handsomest devils I've seen in ages. <laughs> uh. Asshole! What? Yes, you! Asshole! What do you think you're doing? What? 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 What is this? Is this part of the, like, some kind of ride or something? Since the moment we walked in, it's just been one big freaky puppet show, so Thanks. I... Thanks! I'm Shade, and this is my world of curiosities. Let me tell you right off the very bat, I am deeply sorry that you strapping young threshers of gentlemen here have to witness it in such sad disrepair. Time can take a toll, you know, and on more things than one. <laughs> but unfortunately, we are closed for renovations. But that doesn't mean you have to leave, of course, no. I mean, we can do other things. Listen, we're to make a deal, all right? We're buying a... thing. Something valuable. You know anything about that? I know a lot of things about a lot of things, and this thing in particular. <laughs> You're Hyperion, right? Here for August. Yeah, if you want to buy something strange and illegal, <laughs> this is certainly the place to do it. My grandpappy. He's the one who came up with this place. He was a real thinker, you know, a real lover of animals. <laughs> Still is, actually, because he's definitely not dead. But the place itself... What happened? You get stuck in traffic? You Hyperion guys, you're usually so punctual. Getting ten million together can't be too much trouble for you guys. Oh, well, excuse me. I, I don't know if you heard the explosions outside, but, you know, we had to mow down about a couple hundred bandits just so we could ring the goddamn doorbell. Just in time for the spring collection. <laughs> yeah, well, that's Pandora for you. If it ain't a friggin' bug stampede, some jerk-off is using you for rocket practice. All right, well, <laughs> I'll just leave you to your business things then. I'm August, but I figure you know that already. Is, uh, is Vasquez coming? Hugo couldn't make it. He's sick. Yeah, he ate some bad stuff or something. I don't know. <laughs> He's been camped out in the executive washroom since lunchtime. He's got trains leaving both ends of the station, if you know what I mean. Ugh, okay, I got the picture. Well done. So, what's your name? Just so we're on, uh... Equal footing. You want my name? My name's ten million dollars for all you should care. You're a vault key to me, okay? That's it. Okay, okay, look. I don't know what the hell you think you're doing, but this is not how I operate, all right? I expected Vasquez, and I got you. Yeah! So let's all get friendly real fast. I mean, I'm trying. Aren't I trying? Huh? Aren't I trying? <laughs> <laughs> 
You're trying. So, let's try again. My name's August. What's yours? Do you want me to guess? It's Reese. Reese? Reese. Isn't that what I said? Sure. Just sit down and let's do this so we can move on with our lives. Okay, so, let's see the money. Cash only for this deal. Uh-uh, no. I know how this works. We see the merchandise first, then you see the money. Yeah. <sighs> all right, all right. The baby wants its bottle. Fine. You ever see anything so pretty in your miserable lives? This thing will practically dance in your wedding. State-of-the-art alien crap. I'd use it myself, but, you know, the monsters and all. It's goddamn gorgeous. Freaking A right it is. Okay, so, the way I uh, usually do these things is... Wait! What? I... Oh, I just don't like it. I got a... I got a feeling. What feeling? Look, you said when I started to get a feeling about something that I should tell you and that we should walk away, right? What are you possibly feeling right now? We're almost done. I get intuitions about this stuff. Is she okay? Yeah, yeah, she's just freaking out. She does that sometimes. Sasha, what the hell are you... I just... I just don't like it. They've had this dumb attitude on their dumb faces since the moment they walked in. What are you talking about? And why... why wouldn't they show you the money, huh? What's up with that? Sasha? They've been all, oh, yes, sir, and oh, no, sir, and oh, I have the money we agreed upon right here. Nothing you're saying is bad. Nobody does that! And especially Hyperion or monkeys who'd rather bomb a small village than talk things through. I mean, look at that guy. Look at his face. What's wrong with his face? Hey, Sasha, Sasha, listen to me. I, I'm asking you to please trust me on this one. I know you don't trust Hyperion. Yeah, you think? And I know you have zero reason to trust us, but I'm telling you, we are not like those assholes. In fact, we're trying to get back at one of the worst assholes up there, and we need that key to do it. So please, take the money, and let us screw over one of the biggest jerks on Hyperion. Please. So you're saying this key will get used to screw over some wretched Hyperion stooge? That's exactly what we're saying. sold. Awesome. Let's do this. Well, just wait. Just wait. Uh, August, everything's fine now. I mean, I don't know. If you really think... No, no, it's okay. The feeling's gone, August. Let's do the deal. I don't know. Maybe today's not right for this. If, if, if things are weird... If you ha have a feeling about things... Uh, the bad feeling is gone, August. She said so herself. We still got a deal here. There's no problem. Let's just... No, I'm I'm sorry, guys. I was... I thought I was gonna deal with Vasquez, and now this, I just... I just think we should call it off until I... I think things are square. Maybe another time, fellas. Hun, we're here. We should just do this. Really. No, I made up my mind. August, wait! Priest, this is your department. Do something! August. Actually, that's okay. You don't know it yet. Know what? Uh, this... This is it. You can't see that one day. Maybe ten years from now. Maybe ten months. Maybe tomorrow. You're gonna think back on right now. And scream to the stars for mercy of death. Just so you'll not have to live in the wondering of what could have been. What if I had seized that chance by the throat? 
What if I had beaten my fears, taken what was so rightfully mine? What if I had won? <laughs> I am a winner, Reese. I am a winner! What a steaming load of scag crap. Well, well, look who decided to show her face. I was just about to get to my favorite part. You know, where you come in and you ruin my life, you no-class scheming Pandoran scum! A oh, nice haircut, you lying Hyperion jackass. It is a nice haircut! Oh, shut up! Stop it, stop it! You're getting dirt in my eye! Oh, that sucks, because I'm trying to get it in your lying mouth! <laughs> oh, all right, all right. <laughs> Mission accomplished. <laughs> and I'm not lying, okay? I'm embellishing. And how the hell would you know anyway? You weren't at the deal. Of course I was, you dope. I can't believe you still haven't figured that out. I knew you were dense the moment I... Your turn, Fiona. My turn for what? Tell me your side of the deal. You couldn't have asked me first? You kidnapped me hours ago. I guess I could've. You guess? I've been baking in the sun with Rax dive-bombing me for the last- well, Okay, I get it. This fraud conveniently left out the most important part of this whole thing. Which is? Oh, this ought to be good. No, oh, go on. I can't wait. It's, um, well, it's complicated. It's mine! Give it! Stop! What's your freaking problem, man? Wait, 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 wait. How is that the most important thing? Did you forget the part about it all being your fault? Oh, come on, that was not my fault. Not... All of it. Are you making a face under there? I can't tell what you're thinking if... Okay, fine. But let me start at the beginning. I was born here, on pay in a city cast in shadow known as Hollow Point. It's in a cave. Anyway, for a long time it was just me and my sister. Just a couple of kids stealing what we could to survive. Until we met Felix. We tried to nab his wallet. Not only did he stop us, he showed us how to do it better. We've been working together ever since. This is taking too long. She's waiting. This latest scam was our biggest yet. The one that would set us up for life. That sounds familiar. What can I say? A lot of these stories start out the same way. Fiona, relax. There's nothing to be nervous about. There. That looks good. If August's offense worth his cut, he'll be selling it to some Hyperion stooge. It should be good enough to fool one of them. Not too many people have seen a Vault Key, real or otherwise. The paint may still be wet. Be sure not to let anyone touch it. There are only a couple spots to worry about, but it's best not to risk it. Do you think this will work? If I didn't, we wouldn't be doing it. Hey. You're a pro. This is what you do. Your sister may have brought in the mark, but you're the one that'll close the deal by playing whatever role you need to, to get the job done. If she introduces you as a tiny psycho, you'll squat down and scream about boat trains. Okay? That first introduction is who you are. You two have to work together. Well, I have the shiniest meat bicycle. Exactly. 
Showtime. Fiona, when she gives you your role, you play it as best you can. The deal came together much faster than I'm comfortable with, but it's worth the risk. So it's best to take precautions against the unforeseen. The Purple Skag is not the type of place you walk into without a backup plan. What's that for? It's only for emergencies. One bullet. That's right. You'll always be able to talk your way out of more situations than you can shoot your way out of. Wet paint. No touch. Emergency only. I got it. Get it all out. I guess. Oh. Figures. where art and culture flourish. All right, all right, enough of the stabbing. Piss off. Gotta eat. didn't mention anything about a bouncer. Sorry, no one's getting in here today, pretty lady. VIP's only. Private function. There's the Firestone Tavern down the road. Well, that's good, because I'm a VIP. What? Really? Yep. So if you could just get the door for uh, wait, me. Wait, one second. I don't know, miss. No offense, but you look pretty regular to me. VIPs are fancy folk. Anyway, I should have a list somewhere. Wait a second. That's you there. Your face is on that paper with that writing on it. What's that about, huh? What's them words say? And don't you lie and go taking advantage of me. That's the VIP list, and I'm on it. They probably put a picture to make it easier on you. That's a short list. I'm that important. Uh, I don't know. Out of the way, Tector. She's the VIP we've been waiting for. Dang, Sasha, why didn't you tell me she was with you? So sorry, ma'am. Huh, can't believe that worked. I can't either.
August is with someone else, so we got a second. He has some trust issues. He keeps asking about you, so I'm just gonna tell you everything I told him. It's a lot. Great. So, here's the setup. You're Lydia Strauss. We're old friends. You're an archaeologist that stole the vault key from a dig site on Eden 6. But you're originally from Eden 5. You contacted me, and we met at Pyro Pete's just after Mercenaries Day to talk about the deal. Then I set you up with August, you provide the key, August and I go make the deal, then we split the money three ways. The rest of it, you're just gonna have to improvise. Did you get all that? I told you. It's a lot, I know. Uh, no. You need to slow down, Sasha. You're talking a mile a minute. Ugh, you're killing me, Fiona. Okay, you are... <laughs> Tommy, come on. How far do we go back? I've known your family a real long time, August. <laughs> That's right. Which is why this is all gonna work out. You say hi to the missus. Okay. Will do, August. <laughs> Buddy. Doctor! Yeah, boss? Make sure Tommy gets home. Thanks again. August? Hey, August. This is... Oh, hey. Sasha tells me you've got something really cool to show me. <laughs> it's Lydia, right? Strauss? Sasha's told me a lot about you. She ensures me you can be trusted, which is the only reason I'm willing to do a deal with someone I don't know. You are. <laughs> the little bastard had a Molly Wong shield on. Shocked me real good. Sorry about the mess, boss. Won't happen again. Well, that was exciting. On bring us over a couple drinks, then start mopping up that blood. I don't want to have to get the floors redone. Sure thing, babe. Let's get to business. Skip out on his tab? Yep, something like that. Your business deals always go like that? He said he'd do something, then he didn't. I don't abide dishonest people. Have a seat. So, how long have you been an archaeologist? Fascinating work. Getting out there in the dirt. Long enough to find a vault key. <laughs> <laughs> well, that seems like the perfect amount of time. That's interesting. Hey, where'd you say you found this again? Refresh my memory. Sasha mentioned it was one of the Edens. I found it on Eden 6, at a dig site there. Right, Eden 6. Marcus is always talking about that place, says it's really nice. It's nice when you find a vault key there. <laughs> <laughs> it most certainly is. Thanks, hon. All right. Let's have a look. Of course. How do you figure? You never heard of iridium poisoning? Can't say I have. Well, she's saving you from a couple of hours of puking your guts out. Ah. Well, then, thanks for that. Just say something sooner next time. I'll call up Vasquez. It's 
been chomping at the bit for this thing. Uh, Vasquez, it's August. Are you buying this vault key or what? Because I... Hey, wait, do you have me on speaker? Seriously? No, look, I don't even know what obstinate means, man. What I know is I gotta move this thing right now. I know what obstinate means. The Siberian guys get uncomfortable around people that sound too competent. Expect a nervous small-time Pandoran fuck, so I can give them what they want. No, man, this thing is hot. I, I got an office, so if you want it, you gotta get down here. No, we'll, we'll be there soon. That ain't good enough, buddy boy. I ain't that guy. I'm trying to do you a solid here. How well do you know this Vasquez guy? We've met a few times. He's a bit of a prick, but most Hyperion guys are. I've noticed that. Look, let me make it crystal clear. I want ten million dollars. That's right. We'll be waiting for you. Yeah? You say hi to your... He hung up. All right. Sasha will hold the key, since it's clear you don't trust me alone with it. And seeing as I just had a guy killed in front of you, I'm not even offended. Bring your gun, babe. Got it. So that's it? She'll let you know when it's done, where to get your money. Let's go. We'll follow in the caravan. We're in position. Let us know when they arrive. I have to say, I was surprised when your friend grabbed my hand like that. Oh, yeah, sorry. She's a little possessive. That's funny, considering she stole it in the first place. It worked out. Sure, if you consider grabbing the hand of a murderous psychopath working out. I suppose it did. <laughs> Still is, actually, because he's definitely not dead. All right. The place itself. Mom. What happened? You get stuck in traffic? Oh, well, excuse me. I, I don't know if you heard the explosions outside, but, you know, we had to mow down about a couple hundred bandits just so we could ring the goddamn doorbell. Just in time for the spring collection. <laughs> yeah, well, that's Pandora for you. If it ain't a freaking bug stampede, some jerk-off is using you for rocket practice. All right, well... <laughs> I'll just leave you to your business things, then. I'm August. But I figure you know that already. Is, uh... Is Vasquez coming? There are two guys here, but neither of them are Vasquez. He may have sent some lackeys. Didn't want to get his hands dirty. Oh, damn it. One of them has an echo eye implant. If he scans the key... I have to go in. She needs help. Hold on, wait. I have something you can take with you. There's a small EMP device in the chest over there. Grab it for me while I assemble a detonator. Uh, what? Ah, oh, come on. How do you find anything in here? It's about palm-sized and has a small circuit board sticking out of it. Is this it? Yes, that's the one. Here. This will generate a low-level electromagnetic pulse. That should be enough to scramble his system. But you need it close to the key. Sasha, on my signal, you need to get the case over to the vent behind you. How the hell do I do that? I don't know. Figure it out. There's a ventilation shaft in the back that'll give you access. Once you're in, I'll talk you through. Stay in the shadows. The walls are paper thin. Don't be seen. Don't be heard. Go! Hurry! I 
I can see him. We don't have long. How do I get inside? There should be an air duct that leads to the room they're in. Find it. That's where you'll take your position. Right. On it. Sturdy enough. Don't mind if I do. Closed. Also, this really isn't a door, but... Uh... You scared the crap out of me. I get that a lot. I'm Shade. Pleasure to meet you. I know it's hard to trust, but I'm a people person. Uh, I'm Fiona. Oh, delighted. Sometimes you want to talk to someone not decomposing. <laughs> know what I mean? Sure. Just get out of there. I need to get through. I gotta go. We were having such a nice chat. You ever see anything so pretty in your miserable lives? Fiona, are you in place yet? Almost there. So where are we going? Shh, go away! <gasps> You're looking for that girl, right? With the hair? I know the best spot to peek without getting caught. Let me come with you. It's been a long time since I had any friends. <laughs> Fine. Just stay quiet and make yourself easy. You, you won't regret this. Shut up. attitude on their dumb faces since the moment they walked in. What are you talking about? And why, why wouldn't they sh- I mean, look at that guy. Look at his face. Hey, I'm here. What's wrong with his Good. face? Sasha is waiting near the end of the vet. Get the like EMP that. onto the case. He's hiding something, August. Listen. All right, it's ready. So you're saying this key will get used to screw over some wretched Hyperion stooge? That's exactly what we're saying. All right, I'm sold. Good work, Fiona. Aren't we gonna join your friends? No, we're gonna sit here and play the quiet game. Well, Sasha, if you see him try to scan the key, give us a signal. I mean, Fiona, when you hear the signal, know. activate the EMP. Got it. Nah, I made up my mind. August, wait! Reese, this is your department! Do something! August. What? Come on, man! Please! Dude, ten million dollars. You make a good point. Okay, Fiona, he's about to scan it.
Fiona, he's about to scan it. Uh. <gasps> What's happening? He dropped the key. He dropped it? What do you mean he dropped it? The hell? It's fake. Get that bandaged. Okay now, easy. Easy! Sasha, I'm fine. Thanks, man. I'm fine. Let's just not have any more surprises today. Oh, come on! Are you really trying to steal our caravan? Now, 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 hold on. It's it's not what it looks. Okay, it is. But I am really sorry, okay? Oh, give us one good reason we shouldn't shoot you and drag your bodies out that... There's one reason. Hey! We're not done here! Fiona, the door! Out of my way! I don't like it when people lie to me, Sasha! You should never, ever lie to me, Sasha! Just drive! Uh, away from here! <laughs> Yeah, Fiona. What did you do with them, huh? I mean, other than try to con us out of our money. You weren't even supposed to be there. Well, that didn't stop you, did it? At least the money was real. Right, all right, I get it. You didn't trust each other. As it turned out, we had good reason not to. I'll give Sasha this much. From the start, she knew not to trust them. Well, I just thought she was being paranoid. Enough. What happened next? Yeah, yeah. Tell the nice man what you did to us next. You know, in our time of need. Tell him what you did then. We tried to throw him out. <laughs> we should just shoot them first. Save the bullet. The fall will definitely kill them. <laughs> Stop it with the embellishments. What really happened? No, actually, that's exactly how it went down. Yeah, I was trying to kill him. Oh. Okay. Continue. Ah! <laughs> 
Wait! You don't want to do this! He's just stalling. This is a waste of time. Okay! Okay, you convince me. We split the money... 60-40! Wrong answer! Well, wait! We, we can find the money! What? There's a tracker in the case. Reese can follow it. Let him back in, Sasha. Come on, Reese. This is serious. Hey, we don't have all day here. I had it under control, Vaughn. Of course you did. Even if you get that case of money back, you won't be able to open it. It has a top-of-the-line biometric lock. It's impossible to open without me and my passcodes. Get the case into my hands and I can open it. Hey, you say so. But getting the case is the hard part. All right, Hyperion. Prove it. Find the money. We'll get on this. Oh, call the vet. Yeah, Vaughn. I know. You want to call more Hyperion after us? Calm down, Sasha. Let's see what they can do. Thank you. And then kill them if they betray us. Breathe. What the hell is going on down there? You were supposed to do the deal, then come right back. People are looking for you now. Don't worry about it! Just send out another loader bot, okay? I don't know if I can. I'm still dealing with the fallout from sending you the last one. Vasquez was already pissed enough about the car. That was before he got the call from this August guy. You two have been blacklisted up here, and it's only gonna get worse the more Vasquez keeps yelling. <laughs> Unbelievable! Can't you do anything? Not without implicating all three of us. I already had security asking me everything I know. Can't you just get on the network and track the money? You lost the money, too? It's like I said, Reese. My login ID is being monitored up here. Look, I'm doing my best up here to keep any extra heat off you, but you have to find somebody else. There's only so much I can do. I shouldn't be talking to you this long. They'll trace the signal. Don't worry. <laughs> I'm sure I could come up with something. I've got to go, Reese. You're going to have to fix this one yourself. How are we supposed to get an ID from another employee? We're not allowed to talk to other employees. So, you've got nothing. How you go. Hang on, hang on! Can't you, I don't know, install someone else's credentials? I think we're the only two Hyperion guys left on the planet. Ugh, I still have Nakayama's ID drive. Creepy Black Ops projects like that have to be higher security clearance than us. Look, just give up the act, Hyperion. You're just trying to stall us and we're not buying it. What? No. With this, I'm gonna be able to take us straight to the money. <coughs> you can keep wandering around the desert, or you can look at me and learn how it's done. Vaughn got the tracker working. <clears throat> Vaughn? Where'd everybody go? Wow. Well, guess these three have been together for a long time. Nice to meet you, Miss Moxie. Not too shabby in that crazy Pandora kind of way. Who knows what kind of skeletons that old man's keeping in here.
Uh, what happened? We got tired of looking and learning, so we decided to wander around the desert. And we looked and learned that you drool all over the floor while you're unconscious. I tracked the money while you were... out. Quiet. This place is crawling with bandits. You okay, Reese? You totally whacked your head. Right after you plugged in. It made this gross sound. Like a thud. But... wet. See? I told you I'd find the money. I don't remember you telling me that. And I was the one who had to figure out that Rust Bucket's navigation systems. You know, some of that stuff is even older than Atlas Tech. So, the case is in there. Somewhere. Wow. What is that place? Looks like some kind of abandoned Atlas warehouse. Doesn't look abandoned to me. Looks more like every bandit on this side of the planet has shown up. How about it, Mr. Roboto? Do you see any way to get inside? Reese, that's Atlas Tech. You should be able to scan it. that Vault Hunter. Oh, perfect. As soon as a Vault Hunter finds a case with millions of dollars in it, it's as good as gone. You know how they are. Worse than bandits. Can't we just go in the same way the Vault Hunter did? We're not Vault Hunters, Sasha. Settle down. I got this. Okay. Something wrong? No, it's fine. goes down underneath the building, but it's guarded. Okay, so you found a way in. Now remember to get in and out of there quickly. We've already taken too many risks today. You're not coming along? Somebody needs to stay and protect the getaway car. I'll be waiting for your signal. And feel, Sasha, be prepared. Don't trust anyone. We've got a way in, but how are we going to get down there? Have you forgotten about the bandit parade going by? <laughs> That's the easy part. First, we find a crappy hiding spot. Then, we make ourselves a new friend. Fiona and Sasha find cover in order to sneak closer. while we casually take our new pal for a stroll. Then we borrow a gun from one of the guards, making sure that his buddy isn't left, left out. Then we take the secret entrance, which leads us to the briefcase. Then we take a moment to celebrate our swift and easy victory. Everyone got that? Guys? Damn it. We found another way down. After you. I'm gonna assume you just did everything I was saying, so, you know, good work. I got this. Okay, just give me a second. Fiona! 
Fiona, open up, please. It's pitch black in here. <laughs> you are hilarious now. Open the damn hatch! You were hoping this would happen. You wanted to separate us so you could pick us off. Hyperions! <sighs> I can't believe I trusted someone from Hyperion. You gotta focus on getting the money back. Of course. The money. That's all that matters to you, Suits. It was money we brought to you. Remember? Fake vault key? You just tried to steal our van. See? You're just lashing out now. Nah. Shut up. Walk in front of me. Vaughn, do you copy? Come in, Vaughn. Damn it! Money's on the move, but it's close. We have to hurry. Gun, that's what they're there for, right? You got no problem pointing it at me, and you can't take out a couple of guards? Uh, guns make noise. Noise attracts more guards. If we do it quiet, then we won't have all the bang-bang sounds that- Alright, 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 got it. <sighs> Crap. We have to get to that lift. Yep, easy. I'll take the one on the left, you get the one on the right. Oh, do you think you can handle that? I know you Hyperion guys don't like getting your hands dirty. Oh, I'm not worried about me. Because I took out a dozen bandits earlier today. Are you sure you can handle it? Um, are you serious? I don't know. You talk a big game, but I haven't seen you in action. You just make sure you don't scuff your nice little shoes, okay, Hyperion boy? <laughs> They're skag skin. They're atrocious. Come on. Atlas tech. Damn it, it's locked. Oh, it needs a password. Stupid hey, hey, piece hey, of you stop that. <laughs> I can hack it. Then do it. To line up with... Oh, come on, really? I thought we were past this? Past this? Do you even know what Hyperion means to us on Pandora? The havoc they caused here? The pain? 
It doesn't matter what you do up there. You contributed. It's crazy up there, too. Things actually aren't so great at Hyperion right now. Yeah? Feeling the weight of your corporate overlords, Arya? Good. Um, what the hell was that? It's one of the power systems starting up. How is it up there, anyway? Where? Up on that base you're all in. What's it called? Helios. Right. Helios. I mean, what's it like being an emotionless cog spinning away, day after day, for the most bloodthirsty, brutal, soul-crushing, love-defying corporation in the whole wide universe? Is it fun? Is it something you like? Look. When I was 10 years old, I started a club with my friends just so I had an excuse to print business cards. All I've ever wanted to do was run a company. Hyperion's the biggest company there is, so... yeah. Well, that's the saddest thing I've ever heard. I'm trying to open up here. Stay closed if the story involves tiny business cards. I, uh... I have to concentrate. Can I help you? Your stun baton. It's the JR-4000. Can I... can I see it? Hold it, I guess I should say. What if I say please? Would that make it easier for you? Do you promise to give it back? Yes. Pinky promise? Yes. Don't hurt yourself. work for the worst corporation in the universe. They do make some cool stuff. I feel like that's the case with most corporations. Thanks. Oh, look at us. We're like best friends now. <laughs> Not quite. And we are in. Password override. System online. That's what I'm talking about. Okay. I'm impressed. I suppose you're not completely useless after all. <sighs> That's a relief. Yeah, get the lift moving. I got in, but it didn't give me the right clearances, so I'm gonna need a second. Well, hurry up. What the hell? Damn it, not now. got glasses face and Hadley. You guys really know how to accessorize. What are you two doing here? Oh, hey. Um what are you doing here is more like it. Okay. Uh you're not really supposed to answer a question with a question. 
I already know what I'm doing here. Really? And what would that be? Wow, okay. That's aggressive. Sort of caught me off guard. Uh, oh, don't be shy. I... I prepped the cars for the drivers. See, that wasn't so hard, was it? Prepping cars, huh? Sounds pretty interesting. So, you guys drivers or what? Sorry, I realize this is rude, but I really don't like your face. No, I get that a lot. Now, just get my damn car. Or, or vehicle or whatever, okay? Do your job. Whoa. All right. That's a way to go about it. There's no need to be rude. Sorry to inconvenience you. Yeah, you should be. I will hit you. Please don't. Let's start over. If you're not official drivers, well, pretty sure I'm supposed to shoot you in the face. Whoa, hey, hey, hey! There's no need for that. It's just a misunderstanding. We're drivers. Really? Huh. You don't look like any drivers I've ever seen. Then I guess you ain't seen enough. Well, that's very presumptuous. This ain't exactly my first race. Then quit acting like it and get our ride. Ah, uh, well, more meat for the grinder. I guess I'll go get your ride. Oh. Hey, I got something that might interest you. If you're racing, you should look the part. I'm not gonna give them away for free, but uh, you want to look like a team. Pick these up after the last race. The floor was littered with them. Clean most of the blood off. I suppose there's a chance I'll be collecting these again later. Ooh, nice choice. Okay, if anyone asks, you didn't get these from me. Now get going. The ride is waiting. Space station right now, tabulating columns of beautiful numbers. My mask smells weird. Does your mask smell weird? Yeah. Look, the important thing is that we're inside and away from that bandit. At least they seem preoccupied. This is bad. This is bad. What have we gotten ourselves into here? Psychos, motor chariot thingies, sponsors. It, it doesn't matter. We're inside. That's what counts. Race will begin! Uh. What an ass. Are you kidding me with this? Guns, guns, guns more guns! Fiona, what do we do? I'm getting so sick of having guns pointed at me. We have to find that case. I just don't have a plan for how we do that yet. Yep, yeah, that's what's upsetting me. We find them first, then we can try and figure out where the money is. And owing to today's earlier happenings, the grand prize for tonight's race is a one-of-a-kind Hyperion mystery box! No one's been able to open it, but you know you want it. So, I guess we win the race and they just give us the money. You make it sound simple. It is. Simple-ish. Calm down, it's in the bag. If we win this race, we get the case. If? The deal of a lifetime is really only worth it if your remaining lifetime is more than 24 hours. In my line of work, I have to be good at reading people. Seeing their true character. And you, Vaughn, you can do this. I know you can. You really think so? Yeah. See? Now you're having a good time. You just gotta let loose. Rev the engines on your life, Vaughn. Wait, what do you mean? It doesn't matter. Just, you know, enjoy the moment. I could get used to this. Yep. Just don't hurt yourself. Hello! 
How does a jackass like this become a leader of anything? Whoa, whoa! I think this guy wants to eat my eyeballs. You're just being- Tasty eyeballs! Good for fricassee! Okay then, just don't lean in. My tomb buggy! Filthy jacks! No, 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 you've got this all wrong! We didn't do anything! If you let him kill me, you'll never get the money. Oh, yeah, sure I will. Felix can bypass any lock. He'll have your case open faster than this guy can eat your lips. But he can't defuse the bomb synced to my biosignature. Bomb? There's a bomb in the case? Let me go! Stop it! Oh. Meat buddies right in the death tray! What the hell is this? What's this? Giant high on a psycho psycho! You Pandorans are all crazy. You do know that, right? Drivers drive! Drivers drive! Let's kick the tires and light some fires. Let's try not to die. Okay, I'll admit, that looks pretty dangerous. Life come. Here with the money, and I'll split it with you 50 50. 
You scratch my nuts, I scratch yours. That kind of thing. Come on, take the ball. And the two of us. Scratch your own nuts. Really? Oh, I'll scratch him. I'll scratch him hard. You messed up, Reed. You could have been back home living the good life. Passing that up for the sake of your little friend. You have fun dying on that poop shoot of a planet where you belong. No more phone calls, okay? We have to... Come on!
the owner. You got the case? Yes, I got it. old con men are pretty rare. Looking at him right then, I thought I understood him. Maybe for the first time in my whole life. It didn't stop me from being pissed off. I hope one day you'll understand. Perhaps you'll even find it in your heart to forgive me. Felix? Felix! This is the only way to make you understand. Felix, don't do this. We're like family. We are family, Felix. That will never change. Be sure to take care of your sister. Keep her out of trouble. Goodbye, Felix. Felix! Tell Hyperion they can track their fancy case all they want, but I'm taking the money. Felix! It's booby trapped! Officially the worst day ever. inside your body. Bossa Nova's dead. I don't think he was lying. Gordas is not here. Don't sweat it, babe. That's one less bandit lord we have to worry about. There's plenty of time for sweating later, once you come back to me for your reward. My quest is not done. My reward for you is gonna be long, hard, and powerful. Gordis remains out of reach. It's a rocket launcher. Yes. Innuendo. Sasha, about what happened with Felix- Stop! Okay? 
I don't want to talk about it right now. Their friend Felix tried to take the money for himself. The case exploded, but he got away. So we have no money, no vault key, nothing. It's over. I mean, what, what do we even do now? Check the bodies. Take anything valuable. It's not like there's gonna be ten million dollars worth You have of... any better ideas? You came to Pandora, now you get to live like we do. Wait for more powerful people to kill each other and then take their stuff. <laughs>